Hi guys and girls, I'm Obsidian Ant and welcome to 3304. This is where I take a look at the news and happenings in and around Elite Dangerous. This week, Frontier are about to detail the contents of Chapter 4 of Beyond, the time it takes to unlock the Guardian weapons and modules is about to be reduced, and the Small Worlds expedition is going to get underway in a few weeks. Starting this week, Frontier are opening up discussions detailing the content of Beyond Chapter 4. Now, although that update isn't due to arrive until the end of the year, it appears Frontier are keen to get discussions in early. As with previous content discussions, these will be taking place in Frontier's Beyond the Feedback Forum, and all players are invited to give their thoughts and opinions and potentially influence the development of the update. So all this information is going to be posted to the forums in the following stages. The discussion on squadrons is taking place on the 8th of May, that's tomorrow. Discussions on the changes to mining is taking place on the 28th of May, and changes to exploration and the codex is taking place on the 18th of June. The way this process usually works is that Frontier provide a fairly detailed overview of how the content is being designed, along with how it's going to be implemented. Players are then able to offer feedback and suggestions to Frontier. An important part of this particular forum is that posters are unable to discuss the subject among themselves, or at the very least in the forum post containing all the details. Doing so avoids forum thread becoming derailed and sidetracked. Instead of this then, all players' responses are posted as a direct reply to Frontier. The idea behind this then is it keeps all feedback directly aimed at Frontier rather than being sidetracked. So beginning tomorrow, there should be a load of information revealed on squadrons and how they're going to work. What we already know on this particular aspect is that squadrons are essentially guilds with new functionality that will allow players to group and communicate as well as hopefully provide tools to enable management of large groups. Now, how far Frontier actually go with this does of course remain to be seen, but currently it's a very underserved aspect of Elite, so the general hope is that this will be a significant change and improvement. Currently, there's no mention of carrier ships, although this may form a part of tomorrow's information. Squadrons, mining, exploration improvement are all scheduled for the Chapter 4 update, which is due to arrive in the fourth quarter of this year. The Guardian Blueprint unlocks have been the subject of a lot of discussion over the past few weeks, with a huge number of players expressing concern at the process of accessing the new modules and weapons. In short, the issue for many players is that it comes down to the fact they have to run a time-based scenario as many as 20 times just to unlock a single weapon. It's a criticism that's been aimed at Chapter 1 ever since its release, and to be honest, I really do feel it's a fair criticism. At any rate, last week, Frontier announced that they have been looking into this issue and are now in the process of reducing the time requirements for these particular unlocks. Precisely what this means, however, is still unclear. But what seems most likely is that it would involve reducing the number of blueprints needed to unlock any particular item. But as with previous uh, rebalances, it's quite possible that Frontier could rejig something else to offset any future potential changes. It does remain also completely unknown when this change will go into effect, but my thoughts on the matter are that it's possible this change will arrive in time for patch 3.1, which is the second chapter of Beyond. Elite Dangerous is absolutely awesome for creating videos, and YouTuber Captain Skooma is among the best video makers out there. This week, two new music videos have been released, one directly on Skooma's YouTube channel, whilst the other video features the awesome music of Miguel Johnson. Both of these are very much worth watching, and if you're a fan of Miguel's music, then do check out his website, where he has a whole range of music, much of which is composed for use with Elite Dangerous. All the links are available in the video description. Expeditions are one of the best ways to experience exploration within Elite. After all, it's a vast galaxy out there, and it can very quickly become a lonely experience. Small Worlds 3, one of the best known series of expeditions, begins in three weeks' times, and will run from the 26th of May to the 16th of June. Now, the idea behind the Small World Expedition isn't to go out there and explore small worlds, but instead to explore the galaxy in small ships. Anything from a Sidewinder up to a Diamondback Explorer is welcome, or to put it another way, any ship that is capable of landing on a small landing pad. All details for the expedition are available through the link below, where you'll be able to sign up for the expedition itself. Keeping track of all the multitude of materials for engineers within Elite can indeed be a difficult task, even more difficult than that perhaps though, is knowing exactly where to find them all. 
Now forum user Commander Galen Rogue has been keenly aware of this and has set out the task of assisting the player base through this process by maintaining a massive spreadsheet that contains all the needed details. This has been updated to include all the current information and as of now is updated for the current version of Elite, that's 3.0. Below you can find the links to the relevant forum thread as well as the spreadsheet itself. That then brings us to an end of this episode of 3304. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys and girls next time.